Good afternoon, everybody. It is Wednesday, November the 10th, and uh, this is the sixth episode of Better Together. And the first one of these that I'm going to be doing alone, uh, some things just didn't work out this week, and we felt like we wanted to do one of these videos for you before we went home for the long weekend. Um, but we will turn around and hopefully have a guest on here again in our next episode. So this is the sixth one of these we've done. Um, we are three months into the school year, and I've just got a couple of announcements, some of them exciting, a couple of them just, just management things that you need to know about uh, before we wrap up this week. First of all, uh, we are still in desperate need of after-school workers and bus drivers. If you know anyone that's interested in working in the morning and afternoon as a bus driver or in the morning and afternoon as a bus driver and willing to get their CDLs and go through that class, please tell them to contact us at Hazelwood and we'll make sure to um, get that process started with them. Uh, the last thing that we want to do with either our after school workers uh, or with our bus drivers is have to reduce those services, but like everybody else, in, in the area that's struggling to find help, well, we are no different. And those are two of the places that we really are struggling to find people to help us support those services. We want to provide after school um, opportunities for our students that need that. And we want to provide bus service for every student that wants to ride the bus. Um, but there are many days that we're very, very close to having to close those programs down or to shut those programs down temporarily just simply because we don't have enough people to help. Um, and that certainly puts a strain on those people who are working because they are working uh, much longer hours and trying to put in more work than maybe what they had agreed to just to keep those up and running. And, and it certainly would help us if there is a parent out there or a parent that knows someone out there that might be willing to help us in one of those two areas um, and help us keep those services running for those students that desperately need them. Um, so with that shortage in mind, if, if that's something that as you're sitting at home listening to this that, that you might be interested in or know somebody that might be interested in, please, please, please have them contact us here at Hazelwood. Second, we are saying goodbye this month to an amazing teacher in our fifth grade team. Lauren Trader is going to be leaving us before, just before the end of the month. Um, we notified earlier this week the parents in that class, so they should have gotten that information uh, before I made this video. Um, but we're going to be saying goodbye to her, and, and I know that creates some unease among parents, especially if you're in, a, in her fifth grade classroom. Uh, just know that we've got a plan. Not ready to share that plan with you just yet, but when we come back from the break at the beginning of next week, we'll start, put, start putting those pieces in place. And so you, you, it is fair to assume that just after we come back Monday or Tuesday, you should begin to receive some information about what's going to happen in there as we move forward because the last thing we want you to do is to be anxious about that. So I just wanted to reinforce that we do have a plan. Um, so don't, don't, don't worry that, that your child is going to be left without a teacher. Um, we, we are going to put that in place just after we come back from the long weekend. Um, exciting news, the book fair is coming next week, so the 15th through the 19th. You should have received or your child should have brought home a book fair uh, promotional item. Looks something like this with a, a group of names on it. Actually, for many of you, when you got it out of their book bag, it probably looked more like at least if you were my son, looked more like this, right? And so when you pull that out, don't throw that away. Um, that is just a small number of the books that we have in our book fair. Um, so be thinking about that next week. If that their child, your child's probably going to have a couple of opportunities to go to the book fair um, next week. If if that's something you're interested in. I know for many parents that makes you a little anxious to send money with your child to school to shop at the book fair. Um, so if that makes you nervous, um, one of the things we do have is, is you should have received this as well, which was a um, informational flyer about being able to shop at home online from our book fair. It's the exact same books, um, but you'd be able to shop at home for them rather than coming to school and having to send cash with your child to do it. Um, and so if, if that makes you a little uneasy and you want to shop at home, um, it's scholastic.com slash fair. And when you go on there, the first thing you're going to do is select the school. You select Hazelwood Elementary School. If you do it tonight um, or you do it before the, the book fair starts on the 15th, it's not going to let you shop. 
uh, because the only time you can shop online at that book fair is during our window when our book fair is open. Again, our book fair opens on the 15th and runs through the 19th. So during that window, you'd be able to go online and shop for those books as well. And, and keep in mind that just like here at school, and this is a fundraiser for our media center, um, just like here at school where um, doing that doing that provides funds for us. If you go and shop online, um, we get that same benefit here as a school. So just keep that in mind. You're supporting our students and our kids when you shop from the book fair. Um, again, I, I said at the beginning of this show, but, but tomorrow is Veterans Day. And then Friday is going to be a remote learning day. Your, your child should bring home some work to work on on Friday. They don't have to work on it on Friday, but they do need to work on it before they come back on Monday. Um, and so when we return to school, the next day we're going to be back in school with kids in the building will be Monday the 15th. Um, so I hope that each one of you enjoys the long weekend, enjoys Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday off. And we look forward to seeing you guys back here on November the 15th when we begin back to school and start our book fair. You guys have a great weekend and, um, and stay safe out there. We'll see you on Monday.